Today we're going to discuss the Whitfield and the Whitford Code of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss, Sable, Five Fusils in Bend Or. Associated with County Dorset in England. Belonged to Richard Whitfeld. Was found in a roll dated around the year 1285. Another from Dorset for Robert D. Whitfeld, found in a 13th century document. Sable of Bending Railed Ore, born by William D. Whitfeld at the Battle of Burl Bridge in 1322. The arms of Matthew Whitfield, who died in 1385. He was the father of John, Robert, Thomas, Nicholas, Richard, and Christopher, and had grandson Matthew Whitfield, who was the owner of Whitfield Tower in the year 1415. Whitfield Hall, County Northumberland, a Ralph Whitfield of Whitfield in Northumberland, crest granted in 1591. Uh, Thomas Whitlake. I'm sorry, Whitfield of Mortlake in Surrey, son of Robert Whitfield of Mortlake, granted in 1606. And Hamsey House in Lewes, Sussex. George Whitfield, Esquire of that place, the Justice of the Peace, had son Francis Barry Whitfield. And here we see, looks like, I believe, Hamsey House. This is associated with three locations, Tenterden in Kent, Sir Ralph Whitfield, of Tenterden and Burmarsh in Kent. He was of Gray's Inn, a member of Parliament, knighted in 1635, the son of Herbert Whitfeld and the grandson of John. Ralph had brothers John, Anthony, Robert, and Dr. Herbert Whitfeld. Ralph's oldest son was Sir Herbert Whitfeld, born 1618. It's also found in Ireland, Henry Whitfeld, member of Parliament for Trim in the Irish House of Commons, the second son of Sir Ralph. And in Winchley, in Winchelsea, County Sussex, there was Thomas Whitefield of Winchelsea, gentleman, son and heir of John of Wadhurst. Jeroni of eight, Argent and Ore, three garbs, ghouls, crest and anchor, azure, entwined by a serpent or England. Uh, not stated, but the one possibility I have here is Major Walter Whitfeld. He died in 1712 of Queen Street in St. Margaret's Middlesex, a member of Parliament for New Romney. Also served as paymaster of the Marines, and hence the anchor, and had daughter Anne, who married into the Campbell family in 1723, who were Dukes of Argyle and bore a Gironi shield. This is from Scotland in the 16th century. Now we're over to White Ford. There was Adam Whiteford of Whiteford and Milton who was grandson of John D. Whiteford, who was son of Patrick D. Whiteford, alive in the year 1431, who was the son of John. Whiteford of Blair Cuhan in Ayrshire, Scotland, or Ayrshire. Baronetcy was a title awarded in the Baronetage of Nova Scotia, created in 1701 for Sir Adam Whiteford the eldest son of James Whiteford of Dunduff, and the nephew of John Whiteford of Blair Cuhan. He had brothers Alan, Hugh, and Charles. He was succeeded by his son, Sir John, the second baronet, who was succeeded by his son, Sir John, as well, the third baronet. And here we see the family estates. Looks like the castle. And later, Whiteford House. The arms of Colonel Walter Whiteford who died in 1686, son of Walter Whiteford, Bishop of Brechin, and the grandson of Adam Whiteford or Whiteford in Milltown. Charles Colley Whiteford of Thornhill in Devon, England, born 1804, the son of Joseph Whiteford, Esquire of Plymouth. Whiteford, Whitford of England. Walter Whitford, who died in 1647, was Bishop of Brechin and Church of England clergyman, son of Adam um, the King of England gave him the rectory of Walgrave in Northampton in 1642. He had a son, John, who was also a Church of England clergyman. Whitfield of Devon. We know the heiress married either a Hensley. The heiress married Hensley and Garland. Looks like maybe he was married twice. I have a note here that says, Was this William Whitfield of Marwood, Devon, 
born 1420, son of John, grandson of Matthew. He had a daughter named Margaret Emma, who married Thomas Garland. Argent, 10 crosses, crosslet 4, 3, 2, and 1, ghouls. Another mullets pierced. Another or a bend on Chief Azure, two mullets or. And lastly, Argent on a bend. And a Chief Sable, two mullets or, a Talbot Passant and base. There was also Thomas Whitfield, cloth merchant, mayor of Parliament, and member of for Herefordshire in 1378. And John Clark Whitfield, an organist and choirman of Trinity, who was professor of music and the son of John Clark of St. Mary Gloucester. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.